okay so we need to auto wait with the employee service okay now what we are going to do so we need to write a method okay <coughs> excuse me so public since it's an MVC application so we are going to use a model and view model and view and list employees okay that's all so it will return for now I'm going to keep it as a null so what are the things which we needed so it's a controller file so when this method has to be called so you need to provide the annotation for request mapping so based on which value this particular method has to call so when I'm getting list as my action so I'll get the method called and as well as you need to provide what is the method of this or its get or post okay you can use the um, constants here for request method request method dot get you can use it okay that is done so now what we are going to do is I'm going to create a model view so model is nothing but it's represents one of the view okay so MVC is equal to new model and view so here what I'm going to use this is for later purpose so my folder name is pages and as a folder I have a called JSP name called AMP page which has the employee page so this we can do it later that's, that's not a uh, uh, important now so so now what I'm going to do is it's a list of employees employee list is equal to what is happening okay I have to implement that so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the employee service to retrieve the get list of employees so I need to add the list into your model in view okay so mv n dot add not add of add object not all and you need to provide a value for that list employees and value is list so you can retrieve the database on this particular tag in the UI so return the MVC here okay this is how we need to create a method for getting list of employees the same way we have to write a method for add also okay I'm going to clone the same method so instead of list I'm going to use add so instead of add employee add employee so this has to go to employee form page so it, it needs an employee employee you know employee okay so add employee and your employee object okay so that is done so now you need to add this object into employee form this particular field has been referred in your the UI implementation okay so what next so next is update update is going to be pretty much same update EMPL or employee so here instead of add you can see is update and you need to pass a parameter here username so when you're using the parameters in the method make sure you're retrieving the method you're retrieving the parameter through the path variable okay or else you won't receive the variable so at path variable and path variable name is username and store it in the 
okay username so model and view it's again update employee form so here what I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, update employee by name so update employee I can use a find if it is find only update okay so I'll add the object into our employee form and employee so it will add it into the view so from view we can use the same method to process the data okay so another method I'm going to use is uh, the same for save purpose save so here what is the attribute which you're going to use is save and I'm not going to get uh, as a path variable I'm going to get as a model attribute so model attribute is come as an employee form which is we mentioned here employee so here what I'm gonna do is Return null as of now. So I'm getting uh, all the input through the employee form. Okay. So I'm going to check if employee not equal to null and employee dot get employee ID is greater than zero greater than zero means the employee is existing because it has a prom some proper value right so so what I'm going to do is if greater than zero means I'm going to update it because that's an existing employee okay so I'm going to use the employee service dot update okay or if it is zero or something like that or less than zero it's not a valid that means the employee is not exist so I'm going to use the add employee okay and here I am so once the update and uh, add is done I don't have to keep stay on the same page I had to go back to the, uh, my employee list page I mean uh, it's kind of redirecting okay so I'm going to write create new model and view and you know to write a something to redirect here redirect and you know to provide the path also employee what is my okay employee slash list okay that's all so almost done so what else is missing still uh, okay so I still the delete method that is nothing so I'm going to write a method for delete employee and it's going to get as a path variable because it locks up the username first name service dot delete employee and my first name 
and then I have to redirect to my list page okay so we have all the methods so this is the uh, rest controller uh, which you uh, handle all the requests and response based on the uh, action it will call the uh, appropriate method okay the next method we'll see how we are going to get the web pages and how we are going to link the my web pages into my controller okay uh, just try it out and let me know if you guys have any clarification and please do subscribe my channel thank you